Hello friends, I again welcome you all for this lecture on the Theban legend. In this lecture, I will talk on the mythological tell, the Theban legend and also the journey of King Oedipus uh, from grace to fall and also the role of destiny, accidents and chance in human life. Moreover, we will also see the role of destiny in human life. Hope you will enjoy it. If you see the mythological background of the Theban legend, King Oedipus and his family, they were the important members of the royal house of Thebes. The Theban legend was the most popular mythological tale after the Trojan War. It was second in the popularity. Trojan War, War was first the most popular mythological tale and then it was the Theban legend. This legend, this mythological tale, it inspired many writers and poets. It was the very fruitful source or the inspiration for many poets and dramatists. Like contemporary writers, poets, Sophocles' plays were also based on this popular mythological themes. And very interestingly, these stories were familiar to then society or familiar to his audience. The important thing was the treatment, how innovatively and interestingly these stories were presented. It was interesting to watch to the audience. You know that there are many versions of this mythological tale, many versions of this Theban legend. Here in this lecture, I will talk on one of the popular, most popular versions of this mythological tale. And I am sure it will help you to understand Sophocles' plays better. It will also help you to appreciate his plays better. I am sure it will hold your attention. Laius and Jocasta were the king and queen of Thebes. There was a prophecy by the oracle of Apollo at Delphi that the newborn son of Laius and Jocasta was destined to kill his own father and uh, marry his mother. So it horrified them and uh, they decided uh, to kill that baby. Laius pierced the baby's feet with an iron pin to prevent baby from crawling and uh, it should not save its life. So the baby was handed secretly to the to the servant and uh, it was informed to him that the baby should be abandoned in the mountain. And the purpose was the baby um, would die from exposure on the mountain. The wild animal animals will uh, kill that baby. The shepherd was very merciful, so he did not dare to kill that baby. So he handed the infant to his friend, a herdsman from Corinth, a neighboring state, uh, without revealing the identity, without revealing his identity. And this herdsman, uh, who was servant of Polybus, and 
Polybus was the king of Corinth. The shepherd uh, handed baby to Polybus and his wife Mera, uh, who were childless. And the shepherd also informed them that he found the baby on the mountain. So these Polybus and Mera adopted the infant and uh, they named uh, this baby uh, Oedipus because of his swollen foot. Then this baby was raised as Prince of Corinth. Nobody knew the identity of that baby. Nobody uh, knew uh, that this baby was from Thebes and uh, son of King Laius and Jocasta. So the identity of baby is now changed and uh, it becomes the son of King Polybus and uh, Queen Mera. By chance, uh, Oedipus came to know that uh, he was fated to murder his own father and uh, uh, marry his own mother. So, believing it true, uh, he decides not to harm his parents and uh, leaves Corinth and not to return Corinth until his parents are alive. He traveled through Greece and again eventually he returns back to Thebes uh, or he returned back to Thebes uh, which was being ravaged by the Sphinx. A savage monster. Uh, Oedipus encountered an old man in a chariot uh, accompanied by a couple of servants. It was King Laius, uh, king of Thebes, uh, who was on his way to Delphi uh, to find out how to get rid of Thebes of this monster Sphinx. Both Laius and uh, Oedipus, they were hot tempered and uh, the dispute took place between them. And uh, you know that Laius uh, insulted and uh, struck Oedipus, uh, who also defended himself uh, by killing this old man and uh, his servants also. So here, uh, in an encounter, he killed his own father, uh, but unfortunately, he did not know uh, that the person was his own father. Uh, at the city gate, Oedipus answered all the mysterious questions or the mysterious riddle and uh, killed the Sphinx. So the city was escaped or the city uh, was uh, freed from uh, the terror of the springs, from the terror of the monster. And therefore, uh, the people of Thebes, they were very much happy and uh, they acclaimed uh, Oedipus as hero, who freed them from uh, fear, who freed them from the terror of the monster. And therefore, they declared him their new king because they had already lost their king. They did not know who killed their king Laius and therefore uh, the country Thebes was without king and by uh, looking at the bravery of uh, Oedipus uh, they made him their new king. So Oedipus uh, became the king of Thebes. Actually Thebes was his uh, own father's land and by chance or by destiny uh, he was brought, brought back to his own country to his own land. The people of Thebes uh, acclaimed Oedipus as a great hero and uh, uh, he was received in the state as per the tradition. Uh, Oedipus married Jocasta and uh, had four children by her. So it was very 
horrible uh, both of them did not know uh, their actual relationship uh, they had four children among them two were sons uh, etiocles and uh, polynices and uh, had two girls uh, ismene and uh, antigone so again by destiny the prophecy was successful uh, oedipus killed his own father and uh, married his own mother for few years oedipus oedipus ruled the state very wisely and uh, suddenly the terrible disease of plague was spread in the city uh, disease was descended on the city through delphi's oracle it was revealed about apollo's punishment to thebes for the murder of laius and uh, uh, the hideous sin committed by uh, the king of thebes now oedipus also realized about his abominable crimes and uh, the hideous sin uh, committed by him that he married his own mother after killing his own father so in a shame and horror uh, he put out his eyes and uh, abandoned the throne and then jocasta also committed suicide she hanged herself and she too died after king oedipus the tradition was broken and uh, after uh, king oedipus jocasta's brother uh, creon uh, became the next king of thebes so oedipus was banished from the state and uh, he was blind a uh, friendless uh, old man wandered helplessly throughout greece he was deserted by all people nobody accompanied him except uh, his younger daughter antigone so antigone was very faithful to his uh, faithful to her father uh, she did not leave her father alone and uh, she accompanied her father uh edipus came to colonus and uh, the king of athens theseus uh, granted him sanctuary then edipus died peacefully at colonus except king theseus nobody knew what happened to king edipus then the strife between etiocles and polynices uh, two sons of king edipus and uh, jocasta uh, took their life uh, in a battle for throne they killed each other and now uh, the odipodian family lost all the sons in the family and uh, their successors as well so creon became the next king and uh, he passed the law uh, not to perform the last rites of the last rites of the traitors uh, who attacked uh, his own fatherland and therefore the burial was denied uh, to polynices but antigone she was very brave woman she accompanied her father she again uh, shouldered the responsibility at the cost of her own life she single handedly performed the last rites of her dead brother she took it as her responsibility being the only living member of the odipodian family so she disobeyed the order of king creon and performed the last rites and for her disobedience she was imprisoned and she was punished by 
King Creon. The plays by Sophocles are based on this uh, uh, Odipodian legend, the Odipodian myth. Uh, his cycle of three plays, uh, Oedipus Rex, Oedipus at Colonus, and Antigone. Uh, they develop this myth, they use this myth, and you know that uh, this story of Odipodian family or story of Odipodian legend has been revealed through this cycle of plays. If you understand this legend, if you understand this mythological tale, you will be able to reveal, you will be able to understand the plays by Sophocles. And for making this video, I have used these two references. The Theban plays translated by E.F. Watling and Cole's notes on Sophocles' King Oedipus, Oedipus at Colonus Antigone, published by Nirman Press, New Delhi, in 1994. I hope uh, you will enjoy this video. Thank you very much.